are those flamingo hugs. Good morning, everybody. I think it's Tuesday, right? Good morning. I should probably look at my... Yes, it's Tuesday. I got that right. Good morning, everybody. If you guys have any interest in the process of metamorphosis, check out the video that I put up just before this. It's only two minutes, and it just blows me away that I actually had my phone with me. A chrysalis form forming from a caterpillar before your very eyes. Good morning, everybody. Good morning or good night, Australia. It's beginning late in the evening. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Maryland. Good morning, Ohio. So Danielle asked me to ask you guys what you want to see be on the website. So she's ready for Shopping Thursday. She put up a lot of t-shirts yesterday. You guys have already bought some of them. Good morning, Texas. Look at this beautiful calla lily. And the heliconia feeding on it. Arkansas. Hi, South Dakota. Wow, not long after midnight in Australia. That's amazing. Oh, I'll see if I can sneak up. Okay, Bonnie. She said you didn't chat her yesterday. We only have that one, so. She we should just sell it to you because if we put it up, someone else might grab it. Look, turtle head. Hi, turtle. Hi, buddy. Hey, Missouri. Hi, Oregon. Hi, Louisiana. Hi, Missouri. Oregon, Illinois, Texas. Could have actually been Turtle Tuesday. This guy never comes out when I ask him to. Ooh, okay, Ann. That's good. Notepads, cards, and stationery. Got it. Ooh, we have lots of umbrellas. I'm not sure any of them have flamingo, but we do have a beautiful, beautiful umbrellas and wind chimes. I told her to start working on the wind chimes. Hi, Tampa. Kansas, thank you all. Awesome ideas. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Hi, Iowa. Hi, Niagara Falls. Good morning, everybody. Hi, Vermont. Hi, Brett. Hi, buddy. They are very chatty this morning. We had a whole conversation about the ducks. Yeah, Andrea, we're adding more every day. If you don't see something on the website that you've seen in the store or on my shopping Thursdays, just do that chat thing. Danielle is in shipping today, but she'll get the message and she can add whatever to the website. But she's been type, type, typing to get stuff added before Thursday. Hi, Georgia. Hi, UK. Hi, Maine. Oh yeah, we do have more baseball hats. Or maybe we only have one style in lots of colors. I'll check into that. Hi Myrtle Beach. Oh Rhett, you want me to, I'll sit down, okay? I'm having a hard time this morning. I'll sit down. Yeah, here I'll sit down. Okay. 
Good morning, everybody. Hi. There we go. Thank you. Hi. Yeah. Where are you going, Scarlet? Come here, pretty girl. Good morning, Georgia. Good morning, Claremont. Good morning, Port Orange. Hi, Cape Cod. Thanks for joining us today. I've been having a discussion about what you guys want to buy from the website. We'll add it between now and Thursday. Do our shopping Thursday. Tiffany, you can watch them on the webcam and then hopefully be able to come back in the summer. Yay, Kimberly, thank you. You guys have been amazing. So generous with buying stuff and donating to our Butterfly Farmer Relief Fund. You guys have done so much. We really, really appreciate it. Thank you. Please keep sharing and liking so we can find new people. Flamingos eat shrimp and whatever they can get out of this surf in nature. Our flamingos eat flamingo complete. It's a pelleted form of shrimp and vitamins and minerals. We do have some jigsaw puzzles left, Faith. And our buyer is coming in tomorrow, Wednesday. Miss Yvette will be in. She's gonna buy some more, well, order some more. We don't know what we can get, but we're gonna order some more puzzles and t-shirts. Yay, I saw that, Jody. Thank you. We're also still running our um, special where you get a free stand of your choice with the purchase of any bird bath bowl. Just use coupon code STAND. And everybody who purchases $50 or more is continuing to get our free, our tote bag for free. <laughs> Yes, Faith. Yes. Tell everybody. Yes. Local pickup is totally available. We'll just coordinate a time and leave it on the doorstep. Check out keywestbutterfly.com and then just write for pickup in the comments and we'll take the shipping charge off. Hi, buddy. Aw. No, Shelly, we don't pet them, but they pet us. Oh, thank you for the kisses. I am. Oh, yes, Sandra. That's on Yvette's list. She's gonna order Rhett and Scarlet t-shirts, pajamas. Let's see, pajamas in different sizes. Yeah, Morgan, keywestbutterfly.com. Thank you, please do. We wanna get signed up for one of those things. You know how they're posting constantly about all the Key West restaurants, they're still open. We need that for gift shops and other such things. We can't have anybody come in and shop, but if you shop online, we can leave it on the doorstep for pickup. Thank you, Nina. Thank you. We appreciate it. We need new people to be finding us because all of our top fans have been amazing spending all your pennies with us. Thank you. Well, Mary, they do so much of petting of us. That helps. They pet us a lot. Where are you going? Rhett, where are you going? The people on the other side of the garden are more interesting. I know. Yes, Lisa, thank you, Wes. We need more Rhett and Scarlet t-shirts for sure. And we're working on maybe some Rhett and Scarlet artwork of some sort. Wow, thank you, Faith. That's awesome. Danielle, they eat Flamingo Complete. It's a vitamin and shrimp mixture that looks like dog food. Yes, Lori, we'll, I'll, as soon as Yvette gets here and she posts some orders and she'll do some orders and then she'll talk to her vendors and we'll see what the availability is. We don't know who's working. 
Yes. They've just created this, Raymond. This was not a shortcut. Underneath this is the sump pump. And it runs constantly, collects all the water from inside the building, because this is like, there's dirt, and then there's a subfloor. And under this, there's this massive sump pump that is constantly pumping the excess water out of the building. And Brett and Scarlett have decided that this trampled area, they trampled it, is a cut through. So, I don't know, this goes on for much longer. I'll just embrace the idea, relocate those plants and put a little walkway there for them. Jody, I did two swallowtail releases this morning, but I never know when they're gonna happen until the butterflies come out. But I did one on between the 28 and 2900 block of Staples Avenue in Key West, and then one on the corner of on Fister and Walton. Yeah, Lisa, they're like the people <laughs> get to take out the trash. You get to decide what outfit. You get to wear your flamingo purse. Be all stylish for trash day. Hi guys, hi little quail. Regina, go to keywestbutterfly.com. Check out, Danielle's added several t-shirts in the last couple days. She has a lot more, but they're very time consuming. But she's gonna start taking Wednesdays off to help with her daughter's homeschooling. So between lesson plans, she'll be adding even more and more t-shirts and whatever else from this list you guys just gave me. Today, Laura, the weather is ridiculously hot. I actually turned the air conditioning on here inside the garden to get it to a delightful 79 so we can get some major trimming and planting done. We can tell the flamingos apart because Rhett is six inches taller than Scarlet. There's Mr. Mandarin Duck hiding out over there. Thank you, Lisa. Eternal thanks, you're awesome. Thank you for the awesome marketing. So those of you who wanted to see what Rhett and Scarlett eat, this is what they eat. Looks like dog food. It's flamingo complete. Yep, only two flamingos here. We do have stationary Judy, but I am not sure it's up yet. I'll have to ask. You can search. Just search on the website, keywestbutterfly.com. Search for, good morning, Jeannie. Good morning. I hope you saw the update about Mama Sage and her babies. They don't look like babies anymore. Okay, go on to look for more butterflies. No, I'm not a horticulturist. We have one on staff. She's absolutely incredible. She's the one who is doing the plant classes. If you guys have interest in the plants, you should go back and look at some of those plants. Plant classes that Tracy's done. She's amazing. And she is eternally patient with me. So I can't remember even the common names of most of these things, much less the scientific. She has to tell me over and over and over. Brett and Scarlett, don't try to eat the butterflies. We don't have any birds in here that like butterflies. Marie Claire, go to keywestbutterfly.com. Keywestbutterfly.com for all your shopping and donating needs. I'm gonna donate to our Butterfly Farmer Relief Fund or our Feed the butterfly, Butterflies and Flamingos Fund. We have yellow belly sliders. We have four of them. And they've been here since we opened, so they're 17 years old. Shelly, this portion of the building is 5,000 square feet, all glass enclosed. The business in general, including the gift shop and the conservatory, 
are is 13,000 square feet. Yep, Amy, you're right. Zebra butterfly. Kathy, um, flamingos are normally very social, but they're typically social with each other, not with humans. I don't. These two don't seem to know that they're flamingos. They think they're dogs. Here's a beautiful Julia. That's a Florida native. We're soon gonna have mostly only Florida natives. Cause it's been three weeks since our last shipment. I should, Kimberly. I never used to have any free time. Now I have so much that I don't know, just having this conversation with a few other people, you know, doing nothing is far more exhausting than being crazy busy. I have flashcards of sight words because I'm moonlighting as a kindergarten teacher for my five-year-old. Brett and Scarlet, our flamingos, are making that noise. They want over to the other side of the garden, but they're doing a big planting project over there, so. Hi, buddy! Come over here! Yeah! Come here! Come here! Yeah! I knew it would be talkative Tuesday when I came in this morning and they had so much to say. There's another Julia. Monica, I always had a deep appreciation for teachers. And two of my roommates in college became teachers, and I just never could figure out why anyone would want to do that. It takes so much patience. And I am confounded daily. <laughs> I don't know how you guys do it. I don't know. I can't do it with one. Yay, Cindy! Awesome. Thanks for getting the puzzles. Robin, uh, our buyer that buys all of our stuff for the gift shop is coming in today. She buys all the puzzles and t-shirts and whatever. She's coming in tomorrow, Wednesday, to buy more stuff of the things that we are trying to sell online. guys so I came over here to hear your story in person thanks for joining us Kim we appreciate it Kermit's key lime pie is really really good key lime pie myself isn't isn't my favorite so I like the key lime pie on a stick dipped in chocolate it's a good balance of the tart with the chocolate. Hi, Marilyn. Good morning, everybody. Yay, Jeannie, that's awesome. You got the very last one of those feather books. Sorry, it was a little tattered. It's been the show copy. Let's go over here. See what Papa Duck is doing. Standing there looking pretty. I can't go interview Tracy right now because there's someone else in the garden. But we'll get another plant class together soon. But I'm still working on all my homework from the last four plant classes. You guys asked me for a list. And I, I'm no good at that. I want to say, look, plant with speckles. Let's call it speckle green plant. I know that this one's a shrimp plant. Anyway, I am going to make good on the homework of actually giving you guys the names of all the plants, but I have to socially distance from Tracy and bug her endlessly to help me because I can't remember any of them. Oh my gosh! Wow! 
Yes, the blonde giraffe one was really good. Thank you, Carrie. We appreciate it. Yay, you guys are buying all kinds of stuff. Thank you. Yeah, so pretty. Oh, so pretty. Good morning from Michigan. It's That's a mandarin duck, Sue. We have one pair, male and female mandarin duck. Thank you, Jeannie. I still can't, I'll have to have two phones because I can't remember anything. I used to actually have a photographic memory, but now my mind is just mush. People have to remind me to do the most basic of tasks these days. Hi, Ohio. Good morning. Yes, we do. I know, I know pentas. I have those at my house. <gasps> well, hello there. They do. They really just want to be over here with the gardeners because whatever someone else is doing is very interesting. But there's plant snap. Okay. So if you're new here, please help us raise money at keywestbutterfly.com. We're trying really, really, really hard to raise money for the butterfly farmers of the world so they can keep up their host plant population and therefore feed their caterpillars. I know, Jeannie, that is right about when it left. And now I'm worried about having to learn math again. Left it behind a long time ago. Now I have to teach fractions to a five-year-old. Has me distracted. Hi, St. Augustine. Hi, Atlanta. Yay, QSButterfly.com, thank you for typing it. I can't type it before I go live, or it won't let me go live. Hi. Oh, good job. So anything with lots of nectar is good for butterflies. So pen these are pentas, they're really easy. They bloom a lot. Um, fire spike is really good. There's anything that's bright and colorful and will provide a nectar source. Hi, Louisiana. Good morning. So this basket, you see, it's always has lots of butterfly action on it. These are a new kind of penta. They're hanging pentas. So they're really good for baskets. We also have lots of the standard pentas. They were, Dahlia, go, when I'm off here, go back to almost the beginning. One of the turtles was poking his head out for Turtle Tuesday. So there's, here's some more pentas. They really do love feeding on those. Hi, Texas. Good morning, everybody. If you're new here, please continue to follow us at keywestbutterfly.com. We have our 24-hour live webcam. We have our online gift shop and shipping department. We're raising money for the butterfly farmers. Kimberly, we are going to figure out how to do that. It's just Danielle and I We're running around. Um, some people have put on there, so the question is to everybody who's not reading, um, can you do a monthly donation to the butterfly farmers? And yes, some people have said, um, I'd like to do it monthly. And so I have to manually put it in, but I can just do rebuild the credit card on file. John, it is very hot in Key West, but I turned the air conditioning on this morning, so it's a delightful 79 degrees in here. We're getting a lot of big time planting projects done. 
And I didn't want the horticulturist and the gardener that are here to run away. Hi, Butte, Montana. I graduated from college in Bozeman. Here's a paper kite. I do, Cindy. I have to look them up. They're, I know they're on here because I post them every year for their birthday. Their birthday's on Valentine's Day and I always post their baby pictures. But I'll look them up and post them again after this if I can remember that long. These are really good butterfly plants over here. They're fire spike. We can't do butterfly bush in here. Um, I guess it just doesn't do well. It doesn't like the all the time wet and humid. But it does better in drier places. It's just that it's always super humid in here. This one is a real favorite, and Tracy said it's pretty hardy. It's the crown of thorns. It has five different little areas for nectar in each one of these blooms. Happy birthday to Jackie and Rhett and Scarlett. Look at that, that's beautiful. We have, um, we water the old fashioned way every day. We have a human with a hose, water everything. Everything needs a different amount of water. So we do a lot of physical labor to keep the plants from wilting. And we're 100% glass enclosed and climate controlled, so we control the temperature and the humidity. No hummingbirds, because they are super territorial and will fight to the death in a confined space. But we do have beautiful honey creeper finches. I can't find one sitting down here next to me, so I'll show you one here. These guys that look like hummingbirds, but larger. But they're not territorial and they're beautiful. And they suck nectar like a hummingbird. Also have a lot of these saffron finches. I will, Debbie, thank you. They're very, they do a fantastic job. It's a lot of labor. This is the same Julia that's been hanging out on this plant all morning. hope everybody can come see us after all this passes. This is another really good nectar source. Um, porter weed. It does grow like a weed. It comes in several different colors. Good morning, New York State. Good morning, Pennsylvania. No, Cindy, I just work here. I've just worked here a long time now. We have two owners, Sam Tropia and George Fernandes. is more like a family establishment than a business though. Hi Michigan, hi Arizona, hi Chicago. Thanks for joining us. You guys can keep up with us here or at keywestbutterfly.com all day with our 24 hour live webcam. Look, there's the violaceous Turaco. It looks black, but it's a deep, deep, beautiful purple. Violet, violaceous.
Thank you all for donating to our Butterfly Farmer Relief Fund. My phone keeps saying ding ding. Thank you, thank you. We really appreciate it. We're actually making some serious progress on that. And Danielle's daughter is making us a little online chart how much we've collected. And then we'll be able to tell you where we're distributing it. I know the first couple payments will go to Ecuador. They're really having a horrible time. You should be able to double click on it, Kimberly. Open it in its own tab rather than keeping it on the home page. Yay, thank you, Kurt. We appreciate it. We're trying to put up more and more shirts every day. No, Cindy, we've been so incredibly fortunate. We had one panel of glass kind of lose a tiny chip out of it during Hurricane Wilma, which was funny because that wasn't a wind event, that was a water event, and the whole island took on eight feet of water. But, other than that, we've been extremely fortunate. Irma was all wind, and we lost everything on the outside of the building. It was just shocking. Everything was gone. The fence, all the trees, everything. And the guy next door to us, he stayed in his scooter shop, and he said he watched as his entire roof to his building, which is not a small building. It like came off in its entirety and came flying at us and it curved with the curve of the glass and flew all the way around and landed on that side of the building on our fence. Yes, eight feet of water over, from Wilma over the entire island was something. That's a very long story for another day, but if you guys want to hear my trials and tribulations from Hurricane Wilma, bring it up sometime. Good morning, Tennessee. Thanks for joining us, everybody. We're doing our morning walk with birds and butterflies. Well, hello there. Hi. Hi, Broward County. Hope you guys can drive south after this is all over and come see us. Look at this saffron finch eating. It's so messy. Yeah, I know, Jeanette. Just don't try it. They're pretty serious about that roadblock. No, Susan, we planned on um, all of us staying in the building for um, this last hurricane. We've never evacuated for any of them, but uh, and we didn't have Rhett and Scarlet during Hurricane Wilma. But for Irma, wow, look at this guy. He's starting to look a little tattered, but still beautiful. Um, we didn't plan on any of us evacuating for Irma, but just a few hours from when the eye was supposed to hit us, it, it got a little too scary. So we loaded up Brett and Scarlett in the back of the owner's Odyssey 
And we drove them over to the middle of the island into a brand new housing development that had just been finished that was rated to category five, is rated to category five. And they were put in the innermost room in the building, which happened to be a laundry room with my, at the time, two-year-old's little baby waiting pool. And they hung out there for 12 hours. No, Kimberly, it's pretty self-sustaining. People usually come and go at their own pace. The ticket's good all day when, you're, when we're open to the public. So we encourage people to get here early and then come and go as your day and schedule allows. They were so good about that evacuation. It was amazing. They knew absolutely that everybody was stressed out and they stayed so calm. They just walked straight on out to the learning center, walked calmly into the little box contraption we had built to transport them outside the building. They were awesome. Hi Becky, that's what I keep thinking. This Julia loves this pink bush. Good morning, Louisiana. Hanging out peacefully next to a heliconia. We do, we have bird baths for the birds. The butterflies get their water from drinking nectar. Todd, thanks for joining us. Make sure you show Hannah the video I put up earlier today of a caterpillar going into chrysalis. Oh, there's the honey creeper. Well, hopefully you can get here sometime after May, Kim. We'll be here, waiting rather impatiently. Wow, look at that honey creeper. Oh, look at that. We have a paradise, two paradise tanagers eating. We don't have a book, a true storybook of their coming to be here. There's several books we sell in the gift shop of, that are fictional that people have written about Rhett and Scarlet, not actually knowing the story, but they've written interesting renditions of what they think the story is. It's another one of those projects for slow time that I'm not actually going to do. 
Yes, so we have, well we, yep, orange, banana, and papaya on this one. None of our birds like insects. They eat fruit and seed. Okay, the gardeners are getting impatient. They want to move to this side of the garden. So I'm gonna go screenshot all these messages to Danielle so she can add some more awesome stuff to the book to the website at keywestbutterfly.com. Thank you all for joining us. I'll be back a little bit later. Thank you all. Happy Tuesday.